to Shay, thank you so much for joining CNBC. Now you're the only woman to be exhibiting solo at 154. And tell me a little bit about this piece in particular. Um, this piece I started earlier this year. In February, between January and February, I saw in the papers that about 90 girls had been kidnapped um, up in uh, Bornu and Maiduguri. And um, it was mentioned just that one time in the papers and it gave me this immense anger that welled up inside me that little girls have become disposable because the government had zero reaction towards this news and uh, girls had been kidnapped in succeeding numbers until there was the 240 girls eventually kidnapped sometime in April and that got a lot of um, international and media buzz, which really embarrassed the government. But everyone talks about the 240 girls, but the 90 girls in January, February have never been talked about. The girls um, kidnapped the years before have never been discussed. I actually started this piece before the 240 girls were missing because I was just so incensed by the total disregard of people and the government in general, treating this case as um, nothing but some political irritation. How important would you say that art is to political expression? Um, oh, it's very important. Um, in my own case and where I come from, um, almost every average Nigerian is somewhat politically oriented. They affect our lives that way. And for you to speak up against whatever it is that you're experiencing is almost like sounding political. And for me as an artist, oh, um, it's like sounds of revolution or something. But it's just basically reacting to whatever is around me. It is important because we need to be heard. Everyone wants to be heard and everyone wants uh, something done about the situation so if i'm going to use this as a tool to speak up i will use this as my chosen tool to speak up and what do you see coming on board for the african art market over the next decade okay so that market is something that my brain kind of like switches off on it's not something that i enjoy talking about i love to create so putting a price on a piece of art is it's not something that as an artist you're looking toward when you're creating that's a good question i live in nigeria we're not supported in any way um, the government doesn't support the arts we have a few individuals that are trying to do something positive but there are too few with too many artists. So very little institutional support. Very, actually there is no institutional support. You have to create your own, everything you do is up to you, you know. You have friends and families and then the few individuals who are really genuinely interested because again, you find those that are, have the self-vested in, uh, self interest, uh, interests in the arts. So to sell, it's important that I sell because I need to make more work. Um, but then sometimes I get a bit possessive about the work and I actually have to do a little bit of ceremonial uh, rituals to let go, literally. Um, I don't like letting go of my work, but then if I know it's going to a good place, I, it's easy for me to exhale and say, you found a good home because they're like my children, you know? So selling them is quite bizarre for me.